there has been a lot of rumours and hearsay recently, um, just to clear things up, due to league, uh, due to um, rebranding um, reasons, we are now called the Touchline Rant. We are looking forward to a bright future at a Touchline Rant, and hope you can enjoy with us our future as a Touchline Rant. Yeah. You were a great boy. D I J K. You were a great boy. D I J K. In national football, <coughs> suddenly, it's reminding me of my favourite period as a football fan, which was 95 96. Hmm. Because 95, 96 was the year Cantona came back mm. and uh, Man United overtook Newcastle. And then you had Euro 96 in England. I'm getting that excited about international football again. Make me, I know you're excited. Make me right. excited. The England game is going to be interesting, to be fair. Yeah. Um, which is against the Czech, Czech Republic. Republic. On the Friday night. That kicks off the weekend, doesn't it? Good start to the weekend. Yeah, it's a really. But do you know what I like actually about the international? Before we go into the other games, that might tickle them up by saying, um, <laughs> and I'll give you the reason why. The main reason is because it makes the international break seem there isn't like a big gap in between that and then yeah. the the league fixtures starting again with the clubs. But I quite like the fact there's there's a nice stagger of games. He's had an awful season, but it looked as though Southgate was sticking with the old. Yeah, he had the great World Cup, and that's what I'm getting mm. to. He had a really good World Cup, an awful season. But Southgate stuck with him because how he performed at the World Cup. Probably in the face of the fact that maybe Aaron Wambazaka deserved the call up. Yeah. Call up and Mad- Madison's not in, is he? No, I don't think Madison's in it. Right. Um, but Hudson Adoy is. Mitch, up. we know you're 34 years old now. That's yeah, he's him. I'm just, I'm, in. He's got, you've got <laughs> to start <laughs> ringing me, Ryan. That's relentless. You've got to start ringing me. Um, Ryan Geek's trying to ask. Yeah. That's what happened when Hudson Adoy's phone Hudson Adoy. Oh, darkness, my old friend. Uh, James Sancho is the most exciting English talent mm. oh, yeah. for a long while. I think but, so. but the thing with England, genuinely, think of the talent that they currently have. You know, in Rashford is on fire at the minute. Literally. Uh, Lingard is playing really well. You've got, you know, Hen- oh, all right, Henderson struggled. Let's not get Dyer. carried away no, here. This we- is Germany, mm. where Joachim Love. Has told Hamels, so Boateng, and Muller to back him. that they're Get retired. Their yeah, he's told them that they're retired from international football. He's mm. forced them into an. It's the. Sum up by saying um, the word global. <laughs> Over you, Hudson Adoy. <laughs> So bored. I so bored. I'm so tired. A touchline rant. Uh, bored. Bored. I'm so bored. So I think it's time to play a bit of a game. Okay, I like games. Some nice Lovely. games. I like games. So the, this, it's not a love game, is this, it? It is a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I right. love it actually. Uh, it's it's a thing we've devised <laughs> on a touchline rant. Yeah. It's called VVD versus VVD so versus co- it's Virgil, patent pending Virgil van Dyke. Yeah. So don't copy me. <laughs> <laughs> Virgil van Dyke. Imitation is the greatest form of uh, flattery. Versus yeah. so VVD versus so VVD Virgil versus. van Dyke versus. In honour of Chris Sutton dot, saying dot, dot, dot. that Virgil van Dyke is the greatest. It is that, but I think we've taken it above and beyond that. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, yeah. I think we've taken it to what else in level. this mortal realm is. DVD I'm going to put it to you. Than. Okay, so go on. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. Dun, dun, dun. So, Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. The versus. 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 Pizza. Oh. Oh. Right, that's a really difficult one. Can I that's just say, um, pizza's pizza. definitely got the cheese factor. <laughs> it's got the cheese factor. That is solid, solid base. Well, we all know VVD <laughs> would win that. Solid, solid base, ba- yeah. yeah, solid base is, yeah, you know, I think actually... Can pizza, pizza head of football at seven? Pizza beats a lot of things on solid base. Does pizza get a bottom? <clears throat> they can do. They both got hard bases. Can they get Can they get a soggy bottom though, pizza? Say, like, if you get one with too many peppers. 
or onions yeah. or mayo or, or you've stuff. or you've cooked a pizza from yeah. frozen and the the you and know it's, 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 it's thawed uh, a bit too much. much this might be the toughest one so far i think it might be right i'm gonna go out and say it okay i'm just gonna say it because i don't think he'd like you know anchovies on him i'm gonna yeah. say virgil van dyke is not as good <laughs> as a pizza hey <laughs> Pizza's better. Pizza's better. Pizza's better, <clears throat> well. I think he's... I mean, I suppose you, you, if you... We're going to have to think... Of, we're going to have to get our mind away from flavours and toppings here and just think... Think of your favourite pizza. Think the of pizza. your favourite pizza. I think you're saying think of my favourite one. Yeah. Well, then, I mean, I know Virgil van Dijk is good. Yeah. But I think I'm also going to go with pizza because... Wow. There is yeah. something for everyone, whereas I think in Virgil van Dijk, there's not... There's, there's more variety for everyone with pizza. With Virgil yeah. van Dijk, he is what he is. He's not changing for you. He's no not. matter if you go to the self serve. I know. And he's not changing. And usually you that work in his advantage, but in this situation, the pizza's variety and despite, flexibility. Flexibility, despite the issues with the base, where sometimes you can get a soggy bottom, yep. whereas VVD doesn't. I still think Virgil the overriding van Dijk, fact is stuffed. Cross. Virgil van Dijk would not. He wouldn't. <laughs> You just wouldn't want. You didn't sum it up. He 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 didn't Virgil van Dijk then wins the, the, is it on the losing I thing. What's that? The... Is it 3 2 to VVD? <laughs> no. to... I, I don't know. I just think it's stuffed crust. <laughs> <laughs> the minute I was making a point, he just went stuffed crust. Gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to end it. Uh, that <laughs> was Virgil the... van Dijk when he just would have. If you clip that, crust. you can use that in many, many moments, I think. Stuffed crust. Stuffed crust. <laughs> Doggy, do the doggy bounce. Do the doggy bounce. Doggy, you are a great boy. D I J K. You are a great boy. D I J K. You are a great boy. D I J K. You. You better be a good boy. He was D I J K. Zinedine Zidane is back at Real Madrid. Should you go back? Should you go back? That's what I'm asking you, Mitch. I think you. I think the the myth shy of should you should never go back to never works out as I think the the that, times. that's been eroded. I think that's been eroded. Different times the same changes, change is always gonna happen, change there's is. always gonna be change. And I think in the circumstances you should go back. I think in this instance I would say it's a bit odd. I probably It is a bit. Do you know what I but think I'm not saying you should never go back. I started thinking along the lines of um him going back there potentially tarnishes his his legacy but at the end of the day he's going to be a Real Madrid legend regardless because mm. what he did as a player and then to come in and win three on the bounce mm. at Real <clears throat> no one had ever done it twice and he did it three times I'd rather be somewhere else I'd rather be someplace else than here <laughs>
you'll have that insight, so you'll rarely, seldom go I'm see still go see live, be alive football. In 2050. You're gonna, yeah, but you're probably gonna think, oh, I'm gonna watch football. Uh, okay, I could go down there, I'll or I could be... just like zone in to being like Leo Messi's grandkid. So I, I'm gonna be in my 60s when this happens. Yeah. I'm just going to move if quite I go fast. that long. Yeah. If you guys can say If I go that long. Because the players so will be bred in a matrix style system. This. I'm they'll, they'll be pods. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be DNA. They'll be engineered with what the will? best DNA and of the best player. Me. Think of the yeah, matrix. Think yeah. of the gel pods. Oh, okay. It's so going to be go, AI go. in a human body. We're That's... not going to go to the stadiums to watch the games. We'll do it. Everyone will watch it from their yeah. home and some of them can play. You'll be, you'll seem like you're playing. All of us could play. You can choose it. It's, it's sort of a bit or like the football game. Football. So is there no real football? There is real football, but I was just getting to that with the right, Matrix-style yeah. pods, which breed players with the with the capabilities of the the greats. So so you're looking at okay, well I need a striker. Well I'm going to mix. Yeah. The DNA of Ronaldo Ephenococo and Ephenococo and Carl and, Ronaldo, yeah. and, and Leo Messi. <laughs> so and then he's going to have the attri- best attributes for that position. And then he'll be Buffon engineered. Or it'll be a bit like together. A baby, as as think. Can I as just clarify one thing? Can I just yeah. clarify one thing? I got so more. you're basically telling me that the Premier League of football as we know it is going to be like FIFA Ultimate Team, where you can just go, I need a new left sided striker. Oh, Ronaldinho was good. I'll just engineer him. That is exactly what it is. I need a Cafu style player in this role. Who do I go to? That's it. And there's no more borders. There's no more borders. There's no, no more borders. clubs and stuff. No. Because we've all connected with each other. Oh. So it's either going to be like, probably, oh, I see it as being maybe north of the equator. South the equator. Okay, right. Paint the picture for me of this landscape. Blade runner thinking, with football. Okay, so <laughs> am I thinking, no, just in the landscape in general of the world, hmm. am I thinking of a dark dystopian future? With a bin lids the and fire. And bin, uh, basically, dark escape from New York. Cyberpunk okay. is going to be cyberpunk. Is the world well. escape from New York or... Is the world like Pleasantville? That's your question. All the cyberpunks mixed in with the cyberpunks from the Warriors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In a football environment. In a football landscape. Okay. Is this like the Truman Show with all these players then? Well, they know their engine. The thing is, this is a a case of is it predestined or is it is it does it just take hold? So that's where we're going with it. So is it like a game of FIFA where you control everything? Yeah. Well, the, still be fun. Do you know yeah, what I was going you know to gonna say about the future Please. of football? Do you want to know my? Go for it. Have yeah. you got any more? No, I'm good. Okay. Um, my all I was going to suggest was right exactly now. the same, but hoverboard. Time for Championship Corner. Yes. Mitch's Back. Corner. Mitch's yeah. Corner. Mitch's Corner, which is Championship Corner. And uh, we had, we have had a couple of rounds of fixtures, actually, because the beautiful world of the Championship means that they Never quits. Come, it never quits. It, ne- it never, never, never stop, never stopping with the Championship. And so there have been a couple of rounds of fixtures since um, the last Championship Corner. And I think there's been some big winners and it, some big movers, movers and movers shakers. And shakers, shakers and movers. Um, and Leeds, Leeds, yeah, dropping. Leeds. Well, Leeds dropping points home to Sheffield United. So Sheffield United, huge, huge victors at Allen Road. Massive win for them in the chase for automatic yeah. promotion. So um, yeah, big result there. Uh, Norwich continue to do well, but the, the the two major ones to watch out for are two big clubs, Aston Villa. After winning mm. in the Midlands derby with a bit of a ruckus there, um, with the fan coming on the pitch, then going to uh, going to the city ground and beating my boys, and then actually thumping Middlesbrough three 0 at home as well. Uh, so they have won. I think it's four in a row they've won now, which is major at this stage of the season. And the other team to watch out for is Sheffield Wednesday. Steve Bruce has done a fantastic job. They're eleven and beaten now, and they continue. Um, they continue their march up the table. And when you get to this stage of the season, you start to get to the point where you think those teams that make a late run for the playoffs are usually the ones you want to avoid like the play because they're the ones that will they're the ones that are in form, they've got the momentum, that's key. 
and we see it so many times that the teams that have been up there fighting for automatic promotion, if you just miss out, which is why this Sheffield United win at Leeds was so big in the race for automatic promotion, um, it, you know, the, those that are just missing out, well, they're usually the ones that often have a bit of heartbreak in the playoffs as well. So it'll be interesting to see. We've got the international break, so the championship does actually start because the international break, because it's full of international quality, world-class stars, um, but we'll, they'll resume again after the international break. I'll be interested to see whether the teams I mentioned can continue their runs of form or if we'll see some um, some people sliding back to the, the table again. That's it. Well, that's, that's a great chance. That's a great thing. Yeah. Welcome to my edition. Oh, we've got an edition. Huge If True. What's that, huh? Do you know what Huge If True is? No, no. what's that? I copywritten is what it is. I spin you a yarn. Yeah. Right. You have to figure out: Am I lying or am I telling the truth? Am I telling the truth? Or am I lying? Okay. Okay. These this event <coughs> happened. Yeah. Recently. Probably last week, I'd say. Yeah, right. a week ago. It was yeah. on a Friday. Just probably about a week ago. Um. Friday. I'm writing Friday down. Just Friday, yeah. Evidence. 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 I think Evidence. that's important yeah. in the story. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to write Friday down in big letters. What happened guy, on Friday? Guy, guy I know, friends with now. Yeah, uh, he's, friends a, with now. He's, a, he's a taxi driver. Ta yeah. Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Taxi driver. <laughs> taxi taxi driver. Ta write that down. Friends. Uh, mentioned to me he uh, had a pickup from Possible Cardiff. Possible replacement. From Cardiff <laughs> Airport going to Newport because that's where you go to get uh, badges. Did you know that? Coaching badges. <laughs> Did you? No, I didn't know, Did you know that. that. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So he went down there, pick, picked up this player, got the back, slick black hair. Yeah. Yeah, black, black hair. hair. Right, yeah, black yeah. hair. Slick black hair. Slick black. I think slick was important there. Yeah. yeah. Slick. Okay. Heavy set. I'm writing that down as well. Mm -hmm. You should definitely write that down. Mm -hmm. Underline that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Underline. Mm -hmm. Underline. Quite foreign looking. Okay. Foreign looking. Like a couple of shades of my... Well, your, skin. your, you know, your. That could potentially ethnic. be a clue as well. So, right, right, right. Well, very sure. close to uh, his heritage. Right, very close right. to. Uh, well, our Egyptian. Right brown, brown, yeah. Egyptian then. So brown, he's like, Egyptian. Brown skin, and then put bracket like damari sugar. Oh, or brown sugar, if you okay. can't spell it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he picks up this heavy set, slick back hair, gentleman, yeah. on his way to Newport. From Cardiff Airport, it flown was, in there. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's that man bad. again. Say, say true or false. Yeah. Right, but before we get to that first part, first part of this little thing. Yeah. Right. Name the player. So Egyptian. Right, hang on, so you figure it out. Right. Friday. Yep. Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Friend. Yeah. Possible replacement. Yeah. Slip black hair. Yeah. Heavy set and yeah. line. Yeah. 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 Well, Foreign looking, yeah, yeah. Then what? Egyptian, yeah, potentially L like um, damari, yeah, or brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. Skin. Okay. Right. So, like, so I mean, that those, player, huge if true. I'm gonna say out of those, Risa, <laughs> yeah, I'm <on> Risa. yeah, <laughs> that's very poor, <laughs> very poor. After this, I'm gonna give you two further questions if you don't get it, Mitch. So is that not Risa? Definitely not, mate. Um, I thought Risa looked Egyptian. No. <laughs> uh, uh, Al Mohammadi. Al Mohammadi is incorrect. Two more, two more, two more clues. He has played for Middlesbrough mm. and Tottenham Hotspur. Jonathan. Oh, <laughs> I know it now. Okay, say it on your mind. Mido. Mido is the correct answer. Jonathan, Wookie. Jonathan Wookie, you are absolutely incorrect. Okay. Is this story true or false? It's huge if true. They talk nonsense. They talk foot football. What? Wh why? Why do this? Why not give scratches? Why no scratches? Why no treatos? I did tricks. No treatos. Uh. I don't know what they say. Uh. Bored. Why? Why do you talk? Bored. Why you do human talk? Why no scratches? Give me scratches. Give me treatos. I don't want this. I want treatos. Why is there no treatos?
Uh, I don't understand. Uh, a good boy. A good boy. Bod. He said, a good boy. No treatos. My little corner. Reader's your wives. Corner. Your corner. I'm having a take home in this corner. corner. We've um, all got corners. Right, Reader's wives is where I ask our followers a question on Twitter and then they give us answers. <laughs> And we read them out. That's what we do. <laughs> seems, seems it's a question and answer feel. All right, copy it. <laughs> it's a good idea. Mm. So, what this question was is, you have leapt <laughs> like that, into the body of Diego Maradona. Uh -huh. What do you do oh for a day? Uh, the first reply Has there been was, lots of responses to was Gareth, who said... I just say yes to absolutely everything that was offered to me. Oh it would God. be a roller coaster. <laughs> wow. Just right, just that's the first yes. one. Yeah. Do you know what my reply should oh, yeah, I'll say another reply after this. Uh, shout out please. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gorbisaurus. 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 The the rant. Mascot the rant is at Peter Amore. He said, uh, first thing you do is apologise for 86, little Englander. <laughs> and ask, yeah, um, where were you this moment? <laughs> <laughs> and ask FIFA to strike it from the records. <coughs> he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Just I you, then just, just right. play football all day with a beer in one hand and a fat Cuban in the other. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good one. Good finish for the day. Uh, Chris, at this point, Etchingham 77, uh, host a man on the post. Podcast. Good, good podcast. Yeah. Uh, he said to that, he said, this is the correct and only answer, which I thought was quite nice. What would you do if you were Maradona for a day? Probably playing video games, to be honest. I wouldn't really do anything different, you know. Watch Pete's uh, practice. Uh, uh, fit, yeah, watch Pete practice. Pete practice. Maybe last the summer wine. Do you know what I would do if I just, have a glass of wine. if I became Diego what, what, Maradona for a day? I'd party so hard I might kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we almost saw that last year. <laughs> what from him or Maradona? <laughs> from him, from not me. Not is it what, as, as Maradona or him as, as Maradona? Well, who would have known? You, you knew know. this summer. You went to Russia with me. Yeah. I was well behaved this summer. Yeah. Very well behaved when we were in Russia. You just had to embrace him. him. <laughs> it's the equivalent of being like a demigod. Like I'd probably go to his former clubs. Like I'd probably go to, like just to just to feel what it's like. Like I'd go to uh, so Naples. I'd do a little tour for a day. Imagine being Maradona and going back to Boca Juniors. Yeah. Match day. And just like standing in the centre. Mm. For like like but imagine that just for a minute. You're Diego Maradona. Boca sold out with their amazing grounds where it's just one. I think you wall, walk basically. up to the centre circle and do the Randy Orton pose and just go like that. And just like I think yeah, you, you need to know what that you feels would. like. Um, can I offer a different view of this? Yes. The darker view. Two words oh, about what I would do if I was Maradona for the day. I got two words for you both: hookers and blow. It's that time again, folks. Bit of feedback for sure. Feedback. You're comfortable interested to do this one, yeah? Feedback okay. Card. We've had lots of feedback, so we can't, we can't read out everyone's posts. We've got a few. We've got a few. Um, so Philippe Albert yeah. uh, said. Um, it was always going to be a difficult show after the highs of last week, but I think you guys really smashed it, so well done. Okay. Uh, Francis Benali, um, you forgot to read out the details of my charity walk. Um, sorry, uh, Francis, has been a packed show Just this week. Engaged, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Fraser Digby says, huge if true equals big hugs, and then he's put the thumbs up emoji, the hands to the air emoji, and then the fist bump emoji. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Um, that's Carol good. Poborski says, huge if oh. true, jury still out. And Jan oh. Venegor of Hesselink says, always going to be a difficult show after the highs of last week, yeah. but I'm afraid that yeah. you um, guys fell a little short of the standards I would expect of a podcast that claims it still has professional podcasters at the heart of it. Um, really expected better from you. Can you oh. be better next week? Well, I oh. take that criticism, but I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, yeah, that's, I'll that's take great. It and I'll tell you where you can shove it. Yeah. Mm. Hey, makes it stronger. Um, Thanks, Fraser Digby. Appreciate uh, the amount of emojis. Carol Paborski. Right, guys. Time to outro. Should we go on? Opposite of intro. Mm. It's what is known as the outro mm. in the business. In the, yeah, in the, the podcast business. Biz. Mm. I mean, some of the listeners mm. would know that, not mm. being in the podcast business. So the outro is when you say goodbye. And that time has come again, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you for listening. Say,
Yeah. Number right. 78. Number 78. Over text line rant. Right, okay, next time I want to talk, sorry, I want to talk Chelsea, I want to talk Arsenal, I want to talk about the research of Champions, Champions League, how many English teams are in there. It's quite a success. I'll just figure it out. Look forward to listening to next week's two wow. hour podcast. Oh, session. Okay. oh my God. That comes from nowhere. That's a dystopian future time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. Well, we'll have to right. listen next week then to yeah, find out. Yeah. All right, right. Follow us on Twitter at a touch line rant and on Instagram yeah. search a touch line rant mm. everywhere a always touch search line a touch line rant. ATR yeah follow us subscribe tell your neighbours your mates give it yeah. a whirl knock on your neighbour's door put something through their letterbox yeah, yeah, yeah. and not in and I know it's not anything naughty or anything like that everywhere that, that you can think of searching a touch line rant Taxis. search it except for taxi chat Brian word of mouth we're not no. kids and kids all right you <laughs>